Now let's move on and talk about task two. So in task two writing, we need to consider very carefully our time. So if we look at this, uh, it looks like a pie chart. It's not a pie chart. This is an image of a clock. So we need to think about how we're going to use our time. So this is the best way to use your time in task two. You need to read the question. You need to get some ideas, plan and organize your answer and then spend a good 30 minutes writing your answer. Finally, spend a little bit of time coming back and checking and editing what you've written. Let's have a look now at some of the different question types. This is very important that you're familiar with the different question types. So th there are these kind of discussion essays about cause, effect, or cause and solution, effect and solution. So you see three different questions coming up here. So the first question is obviously about um, why and how it affects. So this first question is a cause and effect question. You notice that it's saying people who live in the city and those who visit. So I want you to talk about three things here. There's two parts of that effect question there. In the red writing in the middle, we see that uh, this is a cause and solution essay. So that's about the future, what can be done. Note that that's future. And then finally, this is a combination of the two, where they talk about how it's affecting cities and then how we can solve it. So the other type of essay that you might have to write is an opinion, as we mentioned before, an opinion or an argument or argumentative essay. So this is slightly different. You see that the question is a bit more compli uh, the topic is more complicated and the question is simpler. So you see a lot of words about littering. Now, in that first one, they're going to give you two options. And those, these people are going to contrast. So we see that some people, serious fines, and others, that it's individuals. So you have to discuss both ideas and give your opinion. In the red writing down the bottom, we see the opposite, where we just mentioned one idea. So now you're having to decide whether you agree or disagree. So that's a, a very simple way of, uh, or a, a simpler question really. Um, and now notice with the red one that you should be given an opinion. It is asking for your opinion.